a 300 gallon emulsion tank. It's two inch um, spray, spray foam, thick spray foam insulation. There's a, um, it's heated through the auxiliary engine coolant. There's a water probe that goes in the middle of that tank and keeps it heated. When you're at night, when you're done with it, there's a plug, just a 20 amp plug that you plug in. And there's a temp gauge right here. So that's where you just set it and go. Um, this is the hydraulic system. These are the new and improved hydraulics that they added. The old ones used to be um, a bang bang system, so it was really jerky. The new ones, that's proportional. So you kind of, the controls are more, I'm told, like an excavator. So there's a lot smoother. They run a lot easier for the truck. Um, this is the new computer system. Don't know much about it, but it's the brains of the operation. Uh, to, for your rock hopper, is right here. It's 6.5 cubic yards struck. That's how much rock it will hold. There, it's a V box, so it's kind of like, and there's a conveyor belt, so it's kind of like a sander box, but it's flipped around. And the rock drops into your rock feeder right here that's metered, so it, and it drops it into the flow of air. So you don't, the operator doesn't have to worry about how much rock they're using. It's all, it's set for you. Um, the new, there's new sent. These are the old, a new and improved design. The old sensors used to be right here, so they would get clogged up with dust, and you would have a lot of reading problems. They're all internal now, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's pretty much that on this side. Anybody have any questions? Okay. This is your auxiliary engine. Uh, Perkins 2.2 turbocharged, 2.2 liter turbocharged engine. Don't know, I'm not a motorhead, so I don't know much about the engines. But there you go. This is also your blower. This is what pushes the um, air through. You've got a couple um, air filters right here that you got to maintain. Probably check it once a week. You can blow them out. Just make sure they're not clogged up. There's also set points here for where you adjust your belt. That's what you just have to make sure it's tight enough when, when you're working. There's grease points in here too to grease your belt as well. Um, pretty much that's self-explanatory about that. Down here is your clean out tank. It's a pressurized, um, I think, I believe it's 30 gallons. And that's what you use every day to clean out your lines, your emulsion line. Okay, so now we'll come up to the head of, or the front of the truck. This is where all the magic kind of happens. So that, those coolant lines from the auxiliary engine also run all the way up here um, on the emulsion line. And you're truly heated to this, to this block right here. So it's water jacketed. You're, you, I've yet to have one freeze up on me. And I'm from Minnesota, so we have some cold weather too. Um, and in the nozzle, it's a um, eight hole, there's eight holes in that. So the emulsion um, pushes through, you get a full coverage of the rock. It's, it's a ring that goes in the rock drops right down through it. Uh, the temperature, I want to say about 175. That's what we keep the keep the um, emulsion at. So it stays pretty hot. I mean, you can feel it when you touch it that it's hot. Uh, there's a gum rubber hose. It's just a two inch thick gum rubber hose. You got your grease circs here. You probably grease them once a week. Uh, there's a quick disconnect here, which is nice. So you have to replace this hose. You only have to replace this half. You don't have to do it all the way back from the feeder, so you can section it off. That's a nice feature to have. But other than that, that's pretty much... Is that fully extended now? That is not fully extended. You probably have another couple feet. You're probably out to where he's standing. Yep, and what's is nice is that it's pinned to the right, or to the left, and it used to be pinned in the middle. So you didn't have that much reach over here, and from being pinned on the left, you can truly get that skip stripe and you're not, you're not in traffic. You can go over a little bit more and still see traffic and still patch safely. So you're out of the lane, but you can still, you can still patch in the lane. Right, so this is a high velocity patch system. So we're forcing you know, emulsion and stone with air into the hole. When, when this patch is done, you're at like 94% compaction before this truck even drives over that. And these are, you know, obviously significantly stronger than your hot or cold patch. And I dare say that one of our patches will last between five, seven years easily. So you'll see this is a little bit of a slower process when it comes, obviously it comes from shoveling material off the back of a truck to, in a hole and then, you know, tamping it. However, when you're done with this, with this patch, you can drive over it, the loose stone will just, you know, tickle around, but that patch will be solid, you know, for quite it's some time. It's a jump time. off at race day. And the reason why it stays, it, it, you have better retention rate with it, is it truly never cures. So it stays blue. So when you have that freeze thaw, that patch moves with this, moves with it. So you truly never dry out. Yeah, 
put a new stand on it or a, car, a vehicle goes over it, it feels completely firm. Mm -hmm. But it still has that, that pliability. Just, just enough, enough movement. Bit. That's correct, yeah. So this would be your main screen. This is the screen you'd be looking at at all the time. Um, so to go through the patching, so you get to hit button one, and that would turn on your blower, and it tell, this screen tells you your blower R RPMs. Then you hit the patching sequence number two, that turns your emulsion on, and that would also tell you your percentages. You hit the third button, that turns your conveyor on, that controls your rock. And then you hit that fourth button to turn your emulsion on and do your dry rock. Hit that fourth button again, and then you're done with the patching sequence. And you're back to the main screen, and the, this is where your other alarms are for your um, auxiliary engine. It will tell you if you have low coolant, high engine temp, any, anything that could be going on with that. You also have your light board controls and your engine information. Alright, moving the boom to the right, moving the boom to the left, moving the boom out. 